At seven foot six, he looms large on the hardwood. So tall. We're talking about Celtics rookie Taco Fall and the team's announcing that the fall will suit up tonight at the Garden. But Boston is just one of the many places he calls home. The other is Portland, Maine. And as our Dustin Blakowski reports, the big man has become a huge sensation for Portland basketball fans. Lacing up, wearing crimson with a stature that makes you go. Wow. Taco Fall is settling in at Portland's Expo, getting ready for what could be one of the Red Claw's biggest seasons. We've never really had a sensation like this come to me. It's the latest move by the Celtics that's made Red Claw's management jump, in a good way. The NBA team bought their minor league affiliate this year, then suddenly announced Taco would join them. The fanaticism behind Taco obviously spans New England with his affiliation with the Celtics and being here in northern New England with us. I think we're going to pull people from all over, northern Boston, Boston in general. Signs that's already happening are here. General tickets for the Red Claw's new season went on sale Friday morning. Phones began ringing at 10 and they haven't stopped. Good news for the Claws, who sold out their first couple seasons, but now average 85% attendance. There's hope Taco brings that hype back. Uh, I got a sneak peek at Taco uh, down at UCF the last couple years. Uh, I lived in Orlando for a few years, and uh, that was awesome to see him. It's huge. They should do like Taco Tuesday games and specials with him. Huge for Portland, and to be fair, a huge adjustment for Taco, at least in one key way. It's definitely going to be my first winner. I've never experienced a winner. Um, so it's probably going to be a shock the first couple of days, but uh, I'll probably get used to it. In Portland, Maine, Dustin Likowski, NBC10 Boston. Oh, load up on the gear now, Taco. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Absolutely. You're going to need it. <laughs>